This is the 2024 11 inch iPad Pro and I've had it for the last two weeks and it is probably my favorite creative and productive tool that I own. Now, are you thinking of getting one? Do you already own one? Either way, I wanna share with you guys today the best productive and creative iOS apps that makes the iPad Pro worth having. Hey guys, my name is KJ and whether you're a student or a young professional or someone who just wants to get this tablet, having the right apps and tools will enhance your experience. That's why I have broken down this video into uh, different categories. So we have note taking, reading and knowledge, productive and time management, and of course, creativity. And just a little side note, by the way, every single app has been optimized for this tablet so you get the full experience. First things first, we have Notewise, which was one of the first apps I downloaded on the iPad Pro. Now, as a creator and a business owner, I had to consistently write down my ideas because they come to me at the most random times in the day. And the best thing about this app is it syncs across your devices. So your phones, your laptops, and of course, your tablet. So if you're in the bathroom and an idea comes to you, you can quickly note down something. And when you're in your office or you're just more comfortable, you can bring out your iPad and actually expand on that idea. The interface is clean. It's not distracting in any way. And you can start writing in seconds with a number of powerful tools, like drawing shapes, for example. So if you're a student and you need to draw a ton of shapes for your business or your engineering class or your business class, it can easily be done here. You can also take advantage of the multitasking feature of the iPad Pro. If you need an image from a website, for example, and you just want to bring it into your notes, you can easily just do that side by side. Microsoft OneNote is one of the most popular note-taking apps in the world. During my MBA last year, I used it a lot and I noticed my classmates did exactly the same thing too. It auto syncs with any and all your devices and carefully separates and categorizes your notebooks into sections and pages with different colors to differentiate which subject is which one for easier access. You can also insert images and draw objects, but it won't give you that same drawing feature like Notewise does. But overall, it's pretty good and straight to the point. Now, most students will gravitate towards this, especially if your school has some sort of a partnership with Microsoft like mine had. It's just easier and it's already paid for, so why not? Now, let's not discount the native notes app that comes with the iPad Pro. You get the advantage of you know, well, it's, it's being made by Apple. Now the Notes app is simple yet effective and it syncs natively if you are within the Apple ecosystem. So if you have an Android phone, for example, then you do not have that access to this app at all. And I think that's its major downfall for a lot of people that have a different phone than an iPhone. Now I love the Notes app, but I think the interface is also very bland in my opinion which is why it's number three on this list. All right, let's talk about reading and knowledge. And this is where the advantage of the great display comes in. The first on my list is Marvel Comics. And if you love reading comic books, the 11 inch OLED display makes it feel like you're reading an actual comic book. It brings out the colors and it's just great in terms of experience all around. If you also read Marvel Comics or manga or DC Comics or whatever you like reading, it gives that same effect. If you love reading fiction, nonfiction, and all that good stuff, we have to mention Kindle. And I love using the Kindle app with another app called Readwise to help me uh, capture codes and other important information that I see so I can access it at a later time in my day or in my week. And these two apps are a great pair and everyone should have them. Keep Link, as the name implies, is a great app for storing links to anything like articles, downloadable content, videos, and many more. And last, but certainly not the least for the reading and knowledge category, we have short form, the world's best book summaries. Now you can save quotes, ideas, motivational text that you can go back to. Now it might be an idea, it can be something that sparks your, your mind to brainstorm, all can be saved in one convenient location. Of course, this should not replace reading actual books. Instead, both things should work in tandem with each other. The first on the productivity and time management apps is TickTick. This is an app that I have been using since 2020 and it is a to-do list app with a few extra features. It's just simple and the color theme resonates with me more than anything else. It also has the Pomodoro technique, you know, um, 25 minutes work and five minutes rest. That has helped me be more productive because I'm somebody that can spend two, three hours just working and I have no breaks. So this technique kind of makes my 
just gives me more clarity in what I want to do. It also has a white noise feature to help with productivity and helps its users focus for a longer period. I know I just said I don't like it, but if that is something that you do, it has that. I highly recommend this app though to anyone struggling to get their shit done. Todoist, just like TikTok, is a to-do list app also and a planner, so to speak. You can simply put a task or reminder and it smartly inputs that into your calendar. This is also great for teams and delegating tasks for projects. I will say I prefer the interface on this app than TikTok. The red and white is more compelling. The downside though is the pro version is kind of expensive and it's more expensive than TikTok. So if money is really an issue for you, then I think TikTok is preferable. Google Calendar, yes, Google Calendar is the most underrated calendar app on this list. Most people don't use it. I have no idea why. And I think it's just a shame because Google Calendar is one of the best things out there. From setting meetings and events to being integrated with your Gmail. So it automatically adds events or tasks from your Gmail into your calendar without you having to think about it. Honestly, this is what AI is about to become on a different level entirely. So if you don't use Google Calendar, I highly, highly recommend this. Okay, let's talk about creating and creativity. And if I'm being honest, this is my favorite aspect of owning a tablet. Now I've been on YouTube for the last what, four years and these apps have helped me every step of the way from the beginning till today. The first is Canva. And I see Canva as a replacement for Adobe Photoshop if you don't really know how to use the latter or you do not have time to learn it. It simplifies design for the average consumer and it has templates for everything. If you want to create an Instagram post or stories, they have you covered. Do you want to have great designs for a presentation for your business class or your pitch document? They have a million templates and I mean that literally. As a creator, I use this for thumbnails if I don't really want to open Photoshop. If I just want to have text and all that stuff, Canva is like the best thing to use. Fun fact, I've used Canva to design the thumbnail for this video. So if you're a creator of any kind, I highly recommend Canva. Now, when it comes to editing pictures I use for my thumbnails, Adobe Lightroom is where it's at. Again, the 11 inch OLED display takes full advantage of this app. As you can see your pictures in great quality and great detail. You can zoom in to get those little fine details done. You can add lots to your images and many more. Lastly, we have Mojo and Mojo is an app I use for when I want to get text on my screen in any shape or form. It has different styles, it has different genres, and you can also edit it however you want. It also has different templates for social media posts like Canva does, and it is a great experience. Overall, these three apps will serve you well for years to come. Of course, there are a million other apps that you guys can choose from, but these are just the ones that I use on a daily basis and feel will bring immense value to you guys. That being said, do you guys use any of these apps? Which one of them is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video. A sub and a like would be great as the goal for the year is 30,000 subscribers. That being said, if you want to see a comprehensive comparison between the iPad Pro and the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, click here or click one of these places and I'll see you guys there.